Okay guys, so I am going to try to start some seeds today um, and without boring you for the whole process, I am also going to try to play that part like in, I don't know if it's not called fast forward, but you know, like to, to speed up that time period, time lapse maybe. Um, however, I did want to um, do a few things before I switched over because I'm gonna have to stop this one and do it like different clips I'm trying it out guys I have no idea if it's gonna work so I apologize if it doesn't if you end up missing the part of me actually um, you know starting my seeds I'm gonna try to do just one or two regular and then switch over to like a Time lapse. So, um, sorry guys, totally distracted. All right, so what I'm looking at right now is about 32 tomato plants in my two raised beds. So, I'm gonna do 16 in each one, they're four by eight. So, um, I'm hoping that's going to work. I'm gonna try to get out there soon and get the, um, can you think of what they're called? Um, I'll think of them shortly. Um, but basically, I'm going to try to put, um, they're not cattle panels because I didn't buy cattle panels, but it's a fence that I'm going to put up for my tomatoes to grow up. And I'm putting two in each bed. So they'll be able to grow eight on this one, eight on this one, and then on the other one as well. So I'll get a total of 16. So, and I'll show you that when I go to plant, um, or maybe before when I go over like the actual garden plan. However, I want to plant, or not plant, I want to start my seeds because it is already just a couple days before February 1st. And last year, I'm pretty sure I started putting a lot of my stuff out the first week of April. Now this winter has been a lot colder so there's a good chance I might not put anything out for like two weeks into April and that might actually be um, a blessing um, in more ways than one because for those who know I do have plenty of fruit trees and we didn't really get much last year we had a few peaches they didn't get very big I mean they were like that big maybe like a little bit bigger than a golf ball um, and we had like, I want to say there was like 20 something and by the time I was able to get the squirrels to leave them alone and they decided to grow bigger and it, we had like four between two peach trees because the one in front did not produce at all. And I believe in the one in the front was in, um, early Alberta. And the one in back is a Bella Georgia, Bella Georgia. I can't remember. I might have them swapped. Um, however, I do believe I left the tag on them. Both of them we got from big box stores. Neither one we got from a nursery. And that's something else that um, I'm going to be doing a video on shortly as well because I do have some high opinions. Lessons learned. Okay, so... I'm gonna do about 16 tomato plants, um, which means I'll probably be planting about, I'm gonna say about 50, um, just to be safe. Any of the extras, like last year, will end up in containers somewhere around the property. And then I'm also gonna do some container tomatoes for, you know, like, um, I have some determinants and which means that they're only gonna get a certain size, so those are great for containers. I have some um, small tomatoes that are made just for containers, um, or I shouldn't say they're made just for containers, but they're container friendly. So um, with that being um, said, I do plan on growing those in containers um, because I just, I want a lot of tomatoes. Just trying to see if I could, oh, this one, see it even shows it on the package in a container. See the, 
nectaring and kiss. And it says it's a torment is a determinant dwarf variety which will grow a small bush lake formation up to 24 to 30 inches tall. And it produces golf size golf ball size um, fruits that are bright red and great for small areas or for growing pots. So um, I have some of these that I'll be so I'm gonna do about 50 of my big tomato plants that will be for my raised beds and then anywhere else along the property that I plug them in as well as some extra ones for containers which I have not counted so I'll be doing that in a moment so I can figure out how many of those I'm planting and then I have about um, a total of 16 pepper plants that I'm gonna have in one raised bed which means I'll probably be starting about I'm gonna say about 40 um, just because um, actually I might do 50 um, because I do plan on having quite a few in containers as well as in the beds I told you I'm doing the Chinese five um, hot pepper and I just found two great pots to put those in once they get bigger so um, I'm gonna be starting probably about 50 or more pepper plants as well as those tomatoes um, and then I plan on at least having um, four or four to eight eggplants in my garden beds themselves mixed in with some of my um, other items so with that being said, I'll probably plant about 10 seeds today. Just to, you know, have that. Um, I thought I had bought more eggplant um, and I didn't. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Um, I wanted to try some different varieties because these, I mean, I got a couple off of them and I just, I wasn't um, in love with them. So I wanted to grow those in a couple more, you know, just to, until I find the one that I really enjoy. But it is what it is. And then I'm also, um, I'm going to be growing tons of okra this year. So last year I feel like my okra had such a late start. I'm not quite sure how great these are going to transplant. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start my okra inside because they're simple enough to direct sow outside, so if something goes wrong, I'll just go ahead and direct sow them outside. However, I am going to start um, the exact amount that I need, nothing more. So if they don't work, then I direct sow them outside. Um, simple as that. So I plan on growing, um, it's 24 in total. So I'm doing the prolific one from Baker's Creek. Super excited to try that one out this year. And then I'm doing nine Clemson and nine of the red burgundy. All right. I'm also going to be starting um, my coffee, my dragon fruit, um, and some herbs lots of herbs um, just about all of my perennials I'll be starting today um, and then you know any my my annual flowers as well the edible ones that I, I keep um, as well as the, the coleus I'm not even sure if that's a perennial though um, because I got it from Baker's Creek and they don't really tell you if they're perennials um, for some reason I'm thinking they are I'm thinking they come back but if not I mean it's four dollars for 35 seeds and I'm probably starting um, at least 15 of those today so I'm I'm going crazy I'm gonna go well I shouldn't say today guys because I do have to work so um, this video might be over a course of a couple days um, you'll know if so because the shirt the hair, everything, things change um, day to day. Pardon me, a few moments. But um, other than that, um, all of my squashes, I do want to start them a couple weeks before they go outside. But I'm gonna get grow bags, the little miniature grow bags that they could. They're um, 
they could grow through once they get big enough and I don't have to actually take them out and transplant them because they could be super sensitive. And I think I might do that for my corn as well. So like the corn, the squash, peas, um, maybe my cucumbers, a, a few of those that they, they say that they're sensitive with transplanting and they recommend you direct so I'm gonna just um, start those little mini grow bags and I just have to get to the store to see if I can find them and if not order them so they'll be here however um, for the majority I think um, they say like days to germination seven to ten days so, um, five to ten days. All right, so about two weeks. So as long as I start those, I'm going to say the, the beginning of March, they'll be about three weeks, four weeks old before I put them outside. And um, because those ones being super sensitive, and I want to see if I could get a hold of the squash bugs um, or get ahead of the squash bugs. So by starting them inside, inside the little mini grow bags that you get for seedlings i'm hoping that they'll be big enough for me to wrap that base in aluminum foil like they suggest and then put them outside prevent or not preventing but hopefully stopping the squash bug from getting to that primary that base stem well i don't know what it's called but you know the beginning because that's where they've been getting me they've been getting me right there and then that's it they killed the whole plant before I get any fruit so I'm hoping to you know once I'm hoping they'll get you know a good foot to you know like a, a good foot tall and then I'll just wrap that bottom in aluminum foil and take it out there and put it in the dirt and just pray for the best um, because I plan on doing tons of different squash pumpkins um, I don't think I have any gourds, but I believe I have summer squash, winter squash, pumpkins, um, as well as my cucumbers. Um, I know they don't, and melons, I know they don't really fall with the squash. However, they seem to have the same problem with the bugs. Um, the, not so much the cucumbers, they don't get the vine bores, um, but they do get a lot of bugs inside the cucumbers. So I'm going to try to figure that out as well because that was pretty bad last year and they were the same color as the flesh on the inside so if you did not soak them in water and just sit there and wait and watch you had no idea if these bugs were inside so that was a little bit concerning because I don't think I've ever done that with any produce from the store so it really had me wondering if I should be doing that whenever I buy produce from the store but with that being said I don't think I've bought a cucumber from the store since I started growing them so um, all right, so I'm gonna get started, and I'm gonna put this one on. I'm gonna stop this one, so I could see if I could do the other time lapse. All right, so first I am going to start with the soil. Now, I originally had bought some soil to put in my beds outside, and I was thinking like, um, they're gonna be in that soil once they're outside. Um, as long as I can get them to Germany, shouldn't really be a big problem. Guys, my broccoli looks like it's getting tall. But I didn't get any broccoli, so. Okay, so anyways. Sorry. Squirrel. All right, so, um, guys, nothing was really germinating for me. Um, and I'll show you some of that here, um, hopefully during the time lapse while I'm trying to do things. Um, I, I, I mean, I did germinate like some cabbage or whatever. I'm still having no success with chard. I don't know what's going on. Chard and radishes absolutely hate me. Um, however, um, that it, it's very like mulchy. It's very dry. It's like wood chippy type, um, and tons of bugs in my house this winter because of it. Um, it's like those little gnat things or whatever. So. I turned around and I broke down and I finally bought an all-purpose container mix um, just a miracle Grow organic um, bag however um, I don't always go organic so I'm not one of like I I would like to but I'm not quite there yet I'm still learning how to do everything and I need a little bit of help so I mean oh, try to get 
get my hand away from everything. So this is the Miracle Grow, it's like a performance organics, I believe is what it's called. Sorry guys, my hand's right in front of the camera. And then I mix it with a, I can't really see what I'm doing because I got the camera this way, a peat moss and a perlite. Um, it's what I did last year. I'm not sure I did the organics. Um, however, I'm going to do the same ratio. I'm going to do like three cups of the soil and then a cup of the perlite, a couple of peat moss. Mix it up, fill up my containers, um, put my seeds in, soak it, like just water thoroughly, and then um, put them to the side. Just wait for them to sprout. Make sure that it stays moist. Um, and that's pretty much what it is. It's a waiting game after that. So I'm going to get started and I am going to see if I can. What do I have here? All these have holes. Let me see. My lovely scientific. Don't judge me. I reuse every single one of these. These are from last year. Sorry, somebody was coming out of front. Alright. So, I just have a little dollar store sink. I, I, most people usually use it for the sink dish pan. I guess that's why. I'm looking at this and it actually looks like it may already have I mean it definitely has perlite in it there's a chance it already has some peat moss This says blend, blended with aged compost, so I'm gonna throw some peat moss in there, but it's definitely got some perlite, so I'm throwing um, just a small amount of peat moss in there. And, oh, there's a better, see? Measuring just is what it is. Um, I think I do want a little bit more color light in there. I should have just showed you the, the peat moss too, but I didn't put much perlite, if you see. It's very, very little. I mean, that's probably like a quarter cup because there was some in here already. So, I don't know where my um, hand shovel is. Shovel? I'm not sure what it's called. I'm definitely gonna go get me one after I show you guys this little, little bit. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do first is make sure that I have 
holes on the bottom of my cup. Um, and for those who didn't watch me last year, I put holes on the bottom of all these cups. And then I have some without holes, like this one. And what I do is I just stick a rock in the bottom of these and I put these inside. They end up staying up just like this. And then um, I put water in here so it'll feed it from the bottom. Now, almost all of these um, have been written on by one, by something, you know, I say by something, but obviously by me. Um, however, I'm not doing all the same varieties this year. So, I wonder if I could find some that, yeah, like I'm not doing that one. That one you can't even read. So we'll use those two for the moment. All right. So I'm going to do these for my tomatillo since I know I'm keeping my tomatillos in a container. Okay, so I never do more than about that. And that is, I mean, seriously, what is that? Two and a half, maybe three inches. Um, and the reason for that is tomatoes grow more roots the more soil that you give them and so I know now you're asking like why not give it a ton of soil so I'm going to but it doesn't need to start out with a lot of soil so as my tomato grows up I will continue to surround it with more soil and the shoot that comes up as long as I keep the leaves above the soil all of that is going to grow additional roots so let me find my seeds all right so I found my purple and my pineapple tomatillo seeds so what I'm doing is I am going to put four seeds in each cup and I know that sounds like a lot um, I just one um, never grew them, so I'm not 100% sure on their germination. And um, two, they're very easy to separate, put into new containers, and root. Well, I never grew tomatillos. I'm hoping they're just like the tomatoes and easy to separate and all that. So, I am. poking a hole about as deep as my, oops, where's my camera? As deep as my fingernail. And then I'm just gonna put the seeds in those holes. And then I'm just gonna move it around and then I'm going to water it thoroughly I'm gonna mark it with a sharpie on the cup and that's pretty much it all right so now I'm gonna see if I could time-lapse me planting everything
guys. So taking a quick little break from that. Hopefully the time lapse. Um, and if it did not work, um, I planted a whole tray of 18, 20 times four. So um, a total of 80 seeds so far with tomatoes. Um, I know that sounds like a lot, but it's four seeds per cup. So um, I did about 20 cups of tomatoes, um, like I had showed you that I was going to do with about that much soil or whatever, and then the four seeds. Then I did um, four cups with four seeds in each one of the eggplant, more than you know what I had said I was going to plant, but um, I've, I've just come to the conclusion that I will grow more. Um, and if not, then I don't. Um, however, if they do sprout and I get them, I'm not gonna kill them. I'm going to um, move them into different containers, grow them up bigger, and find homes for them outside. I mean, it's that simple. Um, maybe in the future I'll sell some on Facebook or something, and, but right now is not really the time for it. So. With that being said, I remembered that I wanted to try my own seeds that I had saved from last year. So, um, some of them I will not be doing this year, I don't think anyway, and I might decide after I've planted everything to go ahead and plant some of these and add them as kind of like an ornamental feature with my perennials in different places, I'm not sure yet. Um, however, um, as you can see, I have some here. These are the, um, they were baby bells. Um, really, they were like bite size. So I don't know if I'll waste space on those. Um, I mean, they're probably great for containers, but they did kind of get to be like a full size plant and didn't give me many. Um, lettuce seeds, you probably can't even really see them. Um, pumpkins and I believe these are all from that white pumpkin that I didn't really get much of anything from so I'm probably gonna eat these seeds and focus on the ones that I bought this year so I'm just gonna not even count those in with my seeds all right so then I had the chickpeas and um, some of these I'm not planting today obviously I'm not gonna plant my beans today these were my my burgundy beans and then I had cucumber seeds um, it says a so I'm assuming that means my apple cucumbers so both of these say a um, I didn't really get any of my, my other cucumbers um, now I have more bean seeds here and those are burgundy. These ones look like they're my dragon tongue, which would probably mean these are just the regular green ones. However, um, I'm a jerk, I guess. I don't know. Um, I didn't mark them, and I'll try to compare them to the seeds that I do have that are still in their containers, um, envelopes, um, and then I'll just grow them and because I plan on growing all of the seeds that I have this year from last year and then um, mark them in my garden as which ones were mine because um, I eventually want to be all my seeds I just continue to grow them from my seeds um, although I mean I get it they'll be mine anyway once they grow but you know what I mean I want to keep track to see if they grow more than the one that's just like it next to it that came straight from the envelope and not from my garden last year. Get where I'm going. Okay. So now here's the fun part. Um, I, I don't know <laughs> what these are. So, um, I mean, 
I'm almost positive these are my eggplant seeds. Um, this one I know for sure it's my eggplant seeds because this one I put in a blender to see if I could separate it easier. So I'd be curious to see if these grow. Um, you know, if I damaged them too much. Um, it was me trying to be lazy to see if it would be an easier way for me to grow them. However, those look just like these. And then this one looks slightly bigger. So I'm just wondering, here's my Rosa. Alright. So that looks like the ones on the left. Because these look bigger, like pepper seeds. So I'm just curious if all eggplant seeds look like that, or do they? Yeah. All right, so all eggplant seeds look like the ones on the left. So these, these are eggplants. I'm just not sure which kind. So I'm going to mark them eggplant one, egg plant two, and egg plant three. And I'm going to give them um, probably two cups a piece, so eight seeds a piece I'm going to try from these. Um, simply because, I mean, they're my seeds, so they may not germinate. However, if they do germinate, I'm not sure which eggplants they are. And I probably won't know until they get big. However, um, I would be curious to um, see if they grow better because they did grow in my garden last year. Again, continuing the pattern. So I will be growing um, eight seeds. Nope, I lied, 12 seeds because it'll be four from each one from this. And then again, if they all germinate, then I guess I'm gonna end up with a lot of eggplant seeds. All right, so this one, I'm going to question it as number four. I believe it's a pepper. But again, I don't know. So I'll grow um, four of these. I'm going to give um, each type of seed or each bag or whatever at least four tries. All right. And then this is um, the small medium bull nose. So now these are what I thought the mini ones were going to be. So these ones I'll definitely be growing this year because this is what I expected for my mini ones. So um, I'll be growing those. And then these were the Mara Whites. And these are mine. So again, I'll be trying those. My Banana Peppers. And then my Marisaki Purples. Now, um... I will be trying to germinate some of the ones that I have in the envelope still, as well as the seeds that I harvested, simply because um, I want to make sure that I do indeed get some peppers. My peppers I'm super worried about because last year I felt like my tomatoes overshadowed them and stunted their growth. So this year I'm trying to grow more peppers in their own bed, um, and I want them to be super big by the time I put them out there. So. I'm really um, pushing for more growth with my peppers. So I am going to start planting my peppers now. Um, with that being said, because like I said, I want to get them started.
Okay, so I didn't plant everything yet, but it's taken me a few days and my work schedule and other things I need to get done. I didn't want it to go too long, so I just wanted to show you guys. Those were the four trays of 21 cups. So um, those are the ones I did at the table. And then these ones I did while I was at my desk working, so I couldn't record myself because I was at work. Um, and I got to be careful with phones and everything, customers, information. So that's another 21 cups. And then this one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen 14 cups. So you figure the 21 times five. So, um, that's a hundred and five times four so that's 420 plus another what is it so 8 48 56 so 476 so almost 500 see um plants right here now not all of them will germinate obviously um which is the reason I plant four per cup or a little container. Now these little guys, guy, these little guys, um, they're almost not quite as tall as the cups. They're um, maybe two thirds the size of a regular cup. They sell them as 12 packs at the dollar store. Yes dollar store one dollar so I got 12 of them for a dollar and that's about what I paid for those cups because I got those at the dollar store as well um no I lied I think I got the green ones at the dollar store and these ones I got at Walmart and I think I paid more but um yeah they're definitely a cheap option and they have the holes in the bottoms so we'll see how good they grow I mean I do like the cups as far as like my tomatoes go because I can start them with next to no dirt and as they sprout just keep adding dirt to make my tomato plant stronger but not all plants you could do that with um, matter of fact I think tomato is like one of the only plants so we'll see sorry guys I'm standing in the light we put a brand new ceiling fan in my office and for some reason um, it stopped working like a week later so we gotta get back up there and take it down again the joys of having a home all right guys so this is going to be me closing this video out so I can edit it and put it up because I do want to make sure that I'm giving you guys some more footage more often so I'll see you on the flip side and be blessed